I'm sure you see a lot of calligraphy styles on Instagram daily. For example, you would have heard about brush calligraphy, pointed pen calligraphy, Anshil, Roman, Gothic, Fractor, Spencerian, Ornamental, Copper Plate calligraphy, Devanagari, Arabic and more. And as a beginner, you feel confused about the scope of calligraphy. You don't understand where to start and what to do next. As a result, you don't see a clear roadmap to learning calligraphy and feel unsure if you're doing the right thing. Well, first of all, my advice to you would be to avoid absorbing everything all at once. That's because calligraphy is a vast topic and even I keep discovering new scripts and techniques each day. So rather focus on finding a starting point and then explore your way through calligraphy scripts and styles as you progress. In this video, I'll give you a fair idea of different calligraphy styles and also tell you which ones you can select to start your calligraphy journey. Later, as you explore, you can pick the next steps for yourself. So before we begin, quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned till the end to understand the different types of calligraphy. Based on my understanding, there are two ways to look if you want to classify calligraphy. First is the time period from which the calligraphy script comes and how rigid the set of rules one follows to write the script. This can further be divided into traditional and modern calligraphy styles. Second is the calligraphy tool used to write the script. This can be further divided into broad edged and pointed pen calligraphy. Again, this is how I personally broadly classify calligraphy in my head to understand its dimensions. And that's what I am attempting to explain to you via this video. I'm sure you must be familiar with these terms and we'll discuss them in depth as we move ahead. First, let's discuss traditional and modern calligraphy styles. Traditional calligraphy styles are called scripts and have been around for a very long time. They follow a set of strict rules that you need to learn and follow in order to reciprocate that calligraphy style. For example, you might have heard of copper plate calligraphy. This script was prevalent in the 19th century but was used as early as the 16th century in Europe. All copper plate forms are written at a letter slant of 55 degrees from the horizontal and have fixed letter forms that qualify for the script. Apart from this, you need to spend hours of practice to develop full arm hand movement the rich history and rules of the script make it a traditional style of calligraphy. Whereas modern calligraphy styles give you more space to experiment and create your own style. For starters, it has simple rules and you even have the liberty to go ahead and break them. For example, brushed calligraphy. It's a fairly modern way of doing calligraphy. Even though the thick and thin strokes are inspired by the traditional copper plate style, you can see that brush calligraphy looks more casual and playful as compared to the formal copper plate script. Based on this, artists break the rules and create multiple styles like bouncy, flourished, slanted and more. Because brush calligraphy is so simple to learn, it's one of the most popular choices among beginners to start learning calligraphy. In fact, I've taught more than 2000 students to date through my online courses and workshops. With this information, I hope that you understand the basic difference between traditional and modern calligraphy styles. And now I'll share a few more examples that fall under the traditional and modern styles. This will make the difference much more clearer to you. For example, other popular styles that fall under cal traditional calligraphy scripts are uh, Spencerian ornamental penmanship, Fractor, black letter, Anshil, foundational hand, Roman, Devanagari, Urdu, Marathi, Gurmukhi and Malayalam. Whereas for modern calligraphy styles, you can look for brush calligraphy, modern pointed pen calligraphy and faux calligraphy. 
even though you may feel that there are fewer options in modern calligraphy but let me assure you that is not the case in fact modern calligraphy offers you the creative freedom to come up with numerous styles it's just that they aren't standardized to be added to the list and that's why you'll see different modern calligraphy artists with unique works that you can easily recognize on social media without having to look up their names now let's move on to the second type of classification which is based on the calligraphy tools used to write scripts they can be classified as broad edged and pointed pen calligraphy scripts broad edged as the name suggests is written using any tool that has a wide or flat writing tip for example as you see here the writing end of this calligraphy tool is quite wide the flat end is used to create broad strokes while if you keep it at 90 degrees you can create fine hair lines too this pen is called the pilot parallel pen it comes in various nib sizes depending on the width of the letters you want to write these pens are very popular for broad edged calligraphy scripts and are my favorite I have a detailed video on these pens which I'll link in the top right corner. People in ancient times used to cut a bamboo stick flat at the top which was then called a reed pen. Apart from this you'll commonly see other broad edge tools like an automatic pen. These have stainless steel nibs that come in various sizes. You can use them to write as big letters as you would like. Other common tools are nibs. You'll see these flat nibs that are fitted in a holder and dipped in ink to write. As you can see, personally, I find them a bit difficult to use. Basically, the idea is that any tool with a flat nib can be used to write broad edged calligraphy scripts both english and regional like foundational hand anshial fractal black letter urdu devnagari marathi malayalam gurmukhi and more now let's talk about pointed pen calligraphy scripts opposite to broad edged These calligraphy scripts are written using a pointed pen. This tip is usually flexible and gives thick strokes upon applying pressure whereas you can create hair lines by just using the pointed tip. For example, the most common tools are the pointed nibs. You may have seen them on Instagram fitted inside either a straight or oblique holder. These nibs split on applying pressure and make way for more ink to flow for the thick down strokes whereas you can make thin hairlines with a tip Some examples of pointed pen calligraphy scripts are copper plate round hand spencerian engravers modern pointed pen and brush calligraphy Out of all these styles I love doing modern pointed pen calligraphy It's multi-purpose and can be used for addressing envelopes to creating beautiful handwritten letters. Also, it's quite easy to learn and is very similar to brush calligraphy. If you're interested in exploring this, I have the ultimate modern calligraphy guidebook for you. It has all the instructions from tools to hand movements and letters that you need to learn. this style from the comfort of your home and at your own pace it's available in pdf for instant download on purchase i'll link it in the description below with all this information i hope you now have some clarity on how calligraphy scripts can be classified if yes then please hit subscribe i'm sure the next question in your mind is Which script do I start learning calligraphy from? First of all, you can start learning calligraphy from any script. Yes, that's true. In my teaching experience, I've seen that beginners think that there are levels to calligraphy scripts. They assume that there are some basic level scripts and once you finish those, 
only then you can move to advanced level scripts another thing i've noticed is that they want to learn it all at once beginners think that the more scripts they know the better at calligraphy they will be well first of all both these thoughts are myths and they'll never help you progress in your calligraphy journey that's because there are no levels to calligraphy scripts if you read the history of these scripts they came into existence in different time periods and were used for various purposes in ancient times these scripts were the only way to keep records and they also kept evolving with time as different scribes kept coming up with newer scripts yes yeah, some scripts are more complicated to learn than others but it doesn't mean that they can be classified into levels of learning calligraphy in general i hope you get my point uh, let me explain learning any calligraphy script requires consistent practice and dedication however learning traditional styles of calligraphy like say copper plate script is more demanding as compared to modern styles like brush calligraphy that's because as i explained earlier copper plate script has more rules whereas brush calligraphy is more forgiving nonetheless both are beautiful calligraphy styles also this doesn't mean that to be good at calligraphy you should start learning as many scripts that's because it is better to progress slowly and start with one script once you have developed beginner level skills then you can spend time in exploring other scripts to select which calligraphy script to begin with first find your purpose for learning calligraphy do you want to do calligraphy to relax and unwind or do you want to sell your art and do commission projects if you want to learn calligraphy for leisure then you can select any script you feel excited about in this case i'll suggest you begin with something simple like modern calligraphy brush pen or pointed pen That's because it is easier to grasp and will keep you entertained for longer. If you pick a demanding script, chances are that you might give up in the middle. Also, supplies for modern calligraphy are easier to find and economical. However, if you still gravitate towards traditional calligraphy styles, please feel free to spend time learning what your heart desires. If you want to learn calligraphy for commercial use then I would suggest that you research first the calligraphy style you like second the market demand for that calligraphy style this is very important at, as it will determine the work you will be hired for for example if you learn modern pointed pen calligraphy you can get hired for wedding invites and on site calligraphy Uh, whereas if you learn folk calligraphy you can freelance as a mural artist and also as an engraver on the other hand if you learn fractal or any gothic script you can become a tattoo designer i hope with this information you have more clarity on which calligraphy script you want to get started with if yes then please let me know in the comments i would love to hear from you by the end if you think you are interested in learning modern calligraphy i have guide books and practice sheets for modern pointed pen brush and folk calligraphy i also have an online course on brush calligraphy and a skill share class on folk calligraphy i'll link all of these in the description below i hope you found this video helpful if yes then please hit subscribe bye bye